little short video discussing lighters and other lighting devices used in World War II reenacting. Okay, so the main, most famous lighters of uh, World War II you see in front of us, American Zippo and the Austrian Impact. American Zippo most famously being used by the U.S. Army and IMCO is being used by Germany. See Zippo right there. And IMCO over here. So, basically, on uh, period lighters. Uh... They're a pretty good asset to have basically in World War II reenacting, just in general, because it's a nice period of thing if you want to light up your cigarettes, if that's your thing, or, you know, just light up a lantern, this and that. They're pretty useful, and just about anything as a modern lighter would. So, uh, notes on the MCOs. Uh, these are not made anymore, or the MCO went bust, I think, in like the 2000s. So on the market, you have a lot of uh, Chinese copies slash fakes. Some of them are good, some of them are not good. This is one of the better copies. Uh, I think this is probably the most one you'll find on the market of the Imco Triplex Super 6700, I think. Uh, yeah, you open it here, you can adjust the flame. Kill it down. That. And yeah. And of course, take this out. That's where you get your wick that's in there and the cotton. Take this apart and you have things like your flint and such in there. Yeah, that's the MCO. Zippo, pretty straightforward. Makes that famous sound as you flick it open and then light it. Sorry, the camera fell, but yeah, your insert's in there. And it comes out like this. You got your compartment here for the fuel slash, and then you have your compartment here for the, uh, that houses the flint and such. But yeah, that's the two lighters of World War II. Thought I'd make this short little video, and other than that, you guys have a great day.